Hello and welcome to another edition of Keeping It Honest. I'm your host, Darren Dukes. Now, today we're not going to talk about politics. We ain't going to talk about news. We're going to talk about ABC Kids and their modern program. First off, as of today, September 3rd, 2001, ABC Kids will be no more. Their last programming was this time last Saturday under the ABC Kids branding. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, since there's no more ABC Kids, what the hell is going to be? You know, like I said, as of today, September 3rd, 2011, ABC Kids will let Lithium, the same, the syndicator of the Weather Channel Storm Stories, take over the network's kids programming and re rename it, excuse me, Lithium's Weekend Adventure. Note, before we go into more details about Lithium's Weekend Adventure on ABC, let me go back and remember how the ABC Kids branding started. We all remember one Saturday morning, and I'm reading directly from um, Wikipedia, and I quote, Disney's one Saturday morning started in 1997. It was formerly known as ABC Saturday Morning. Aaron, Reebok, Schoolhouse Rocks, The Mighty Ducks, Doug, and Gary, Gary Gold. Sometime around 1997, Peter Hastings, the creator and executive producer of One Saturday Morning, who wrote The Enemy and the X and Pinky and the Brain, left both shows to produce for Disney and ABC. ABC was told by Ernst, Michael Ernst Howard to create a Saturday morning program that was different than the rest at the time, which he did with February, with, excuse me, with One Saturday Morning. A show that I used to watch every Saturday morning when I was a kid. And again, 1993, 1997, so four years after I was born, I got addicted to the one Saturday morning. And one Saturday morning, it was like what it says, different than all the other shows out there. It had buildings to represent the days catchy music that will make you look forward to quote the five hours of summer once a week only one Saturday morning now Saturday morning was so so popular that UPN the Urban Paramount Network had to get in on it and indeed they too had a spin-off of Disney's iconic programming block one Saturday morning, and they made it Disney's One Two, that air Saturday mornings or Saturday mornings and week weekday mornings or weekday afternoons, depending on the the program that they had at the time. Now, continuing where we left off, Disney and ABC liked the idea, and they took the ball and ran with it. Now, so on September 13, which we're about a few days away from now, one Saturday morning was the first broadcast as a two hour block on the ABC Saturday morning lineup as it originally featured some of the shows that they had on it. It originally was scheduled for September 6, but due to the death of Princess Diana and all the networks was covering it, it was ex it was pushed back a week later. And in 1999, it was extended to five hours. Now, same year, but September 6. Like I was saying, Disney's one two premiered on UPN and was in syndication every weekday in the morning or in the afternoon and Sunday morning. Now, the final edition of Disney's One Saturday Morning had aired for the final time back in September 7, 2002. By this time, it had simply bumpers and promos. The segment has been, had been dropped since 2000, 
represents low ratings. And because Fox Kids was brought by Disney, they changed Disney changed the name from well the block rather from one Saturday morning to ABC Kids. And ABC Kids lasted from from if I'm not mistaken, bear with me here. From from 2002 till till August 27, 2001, 2011. I'm sorry. No, this is a very very tough time for all of us who was born in the 90s and used to listen to that song. Five hours of summer, what we'll need one Saturday morning. Every time you hear that song, you know you're going to have the best five hours of their Saturday morning. Again, it was originally two hours when it premiered. A few years later, 99, five hours. Five hours of the best and the premiere edition of car the best cartoon block you can find in one place at one time only on a one Saturday morning only on ABC <sighs> now no we were trying to see if ABC probably made a press release about this but apparently they didn't but you know that's okay that's really okay <sighs> This does it for this edition of Keeping It Honest. I'm your host, Darren Dukes. If you got memories of your first time watching one Saturday morning, or how are you dealing with the closure of the program that started about, hell, over a decade, a little over a decade ago, please leave a comment on your feed, on the YouTube wall here on the next era in journalism. For the, keeping it honest, I'm Daryl Dukes reporting.